Hey, what's up guys? In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a system where you can block attacks with a shield. So this is going to happen primarily in our third person character, but you can obviously use first person or any other kind of character. Quickly just attach some shield to my character mesh, but you can obviously have some kind of equipment system or something like that. I'm just going to do it like this for the sake of keeping this relatively simple. So we can go into the event graph and now you need some kind of input, some kind of keybind. I'm just going to use this right mouse button event and we need to create a new variable. So I'm going to click on the plus under variables and I'm going to call this is blocking. And I'm gonna keep it as type boolean. I'm gonna drag it in, I'm gonna set it, and then I'm just gonna plug it into the pressed. I'm gonna duplicate it with Ctrl D and plug that into the release. And then from pressed, I want to set it to true, and then from release, I want to set it to false. Then I want to get our upper body variable, set it, and do the same thing that we did with the blocking. So Ctrl D to duplicate it, plug the other one into the release. And then the first one from the press is gonna be set to true. If you don't have this upper body variable, then I'm gonna leave a link down in the description where you can go and check that video out. It basically allows us to play animations only on top half of our body, which means we can move and run around while blocking attacks with our shield, basically. Now we need to go into our animation blueprint. So we can select our mesh here. And then under anim class, we have the animation blueprint here. So we can click this icon to browse to it. And then we can open it. In here, we need to create a new variable, which is gonna reflect if we are blocking or not. And the way you want to do this is you need to find the event blueprint update animation and we set this up in the upper body animation video but if you don't have it basically just find the event blueprint update animation and then drag from it a cast it to your player blueprint for me that's third person character and then we are just simply gonna drag from it search for that variable we just created we can drag from that variable, promote it to variable, we can leave the name the same and then just plug that into the upper body and this is just gonna up keep updating it if we are blocking or not. We can compile this, we can go into the anim graph and again this is gonna look probably a little bit different for you but this is what we ended up with setting up with the upper body animations. Again a link in the description if you want to flow that along. So we are just gonna move all of these here. And I'm gonna explain the logic for all of this so you can set it up for yourself even without having to follow that original video. So first we are gonna select this cached movement which is basically from our main states. So the, basically the jumping, falling, all that. So we are gonna select it, Ctrl C and Ctrl V or just Ctrl D to replicate it. Then I'm gonna duplicate this layer the blend per blown and I'm gonna plug the base pose into the cached movement. And I'm gonna select this blend pose by bool, duplicate it. And I'm gonna plug the true pose into the layer blend per bone. The output from the first blend poses by bool, I'm gonna plug into the true pose in the second one. And here we need the animation. So I have this animation right here in my content, which is just a simple shield blocking animation. So I'm gonna grab it. I'm gonna just drop it in here like this. And I'm just gonna plug it into the blend pose here in the layer blend per bone. Then from the layer blend per bone here, which is the one where we are basically blending it so we can use the upper body animations, we are gonna plug that into the false. And now we need to plug in our bool, which we have the is blocking variable so just get it and then we can just plug it into the active volume and that's basically done now to quickly explain this it's actually really simple basically we are using cached movement which is coming from our main stains which we can open right here that's basically just coming from the locomotion if you don't quite understand this it's fine you don't really need to you can just follow along but i'm gonna be making a video in the future about animation blueprints the introduction and getting a bit of a deep dive but for now this just simply works it's a little bit clunky in places but i mean if it works it works right then we have the animation, we are putting that into the layer the blend per bone. You can select this node and you can play around with some of the settings, that way they are gonna look better. But I'm not gonna mess around with them too much because this is just to show you how it works. And then we are basically deciding if we are blocking or not, because if we are not blocking then we just want to play the regular upper body animations. And we also want to check if we are actually allowing ourselves to play the upper body animation. So I hope that helps explain it a little bit. Now we can compile and save this. And this is a gonna play our animation but we also need to reduce the damage that we are gonna take so for that you can locate your event any damage or whatever other damage system you are using i'm just using the basic built-in damage system in unreal and as you can see here we are basically just subtracting uh, damage from our current health so what i want to do instead is i want to break this link i'm gonna get a branch plug that into the event any damage then get my is blocking variable get it plug that into the branch and then from false we can just plug it in here because that means we are not blocking so we are just gonna proceed as normal now from true what we are gonna do is we need to change the amount of damage we are gonna take and this is a little bit complicated because every game does it differently what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna drag from the damage and i'm gonna search for divide and then i'm just gonna simply divide it by two 
And this basically means that we are gonna take half damage whenever we are blocking. Obviously, you can change that, but I'm just simply gonna do it like this. So I'm gonna select this node with the current health, duplicate it, and I'm gonna plug that into true. And then I'm gonna from the divide plug it into the current health. Now another thing we could do here is we have to disable input, enable input, and play the montage. This is from this video where we talked about how to create the on hit reactions basically. So what we could do is we could just select all of these and duplicate them, put them up here, plug the from current health here, and now you could just slot in whatever animation for the shield hit. So I have this animation right here. I can just right click, create, create any montage, and we can just slot it into the animation montage right here. We need to change it to our upper body because like I said we are playing it on our upper part we are gonna click on slot slot name and then upper body it's gonna break it into the a post that's fine okay so I made a bit of a mistake because I'm a really bad at math but basically we are dividing our current health by the damage which obviously doesn't make sense so what we also need to do is we need to go down here select the minus duplicate that node and then we are just basically gonna plug the output from the divide to the minus from the minus we are gonna plug it into the current health and then we also need the current health variable so i'm just gonna duplicate it here and plug that into the minus we take the damage we divide it by two which is gonna reduce it to half and then we are gonna subtract it from our current health and i think the best way to go about it would be to have current health on top a division below that and then we are subtracting it from current health so when we compile and save this and then when we go into the play right here if i stand in this ice part I'm gonna take a little bit of damage if I can actually get hit by it. Now when I try and block it, I'm gonna take less damage. And as you can see, we can also run around with the shield. Basically, whenever we release the right click, it's gonna return us back to our pose. So I hope you found this helpful. If you did, leave a like and subscribe. It helps out a lot. Thanks a lot for watching and see you in the next one. Bye!